Hi everyone, um, my name's Em and I'm just making this quick video to demonstrate to you how I do a lanolin treatment um, on my night wool nappy covers. Um, so this is the cover that I'm going to be treating today. Um, so obviously I'm going to need it. I'm going to need some lanolin. Um, I just buy mine online, but you can get it from the pharmacy um, or some baby goods stores as well. I have a um, special spoon that I dedicate specifically to my lanolin. Um, if you've used lanolin before, you'll know that it's quite sticky and tacky and very hard to remove. So rather than um, use utensils that I have for other things, I have just one that I dedicate to it. And it's really cute and fun so yeah i just buy pure lanolin um, and that's what i use um, to do a lanolin treatment um, i also recommend that you have some soap um, you can get soap in bar styles uh, this one for example has lanolin um, in the soap as well so while i'm washing it and um, it's also building up that lanolin and waterproof protection um, but for your cleaning you can also just use um, any sort of wool um, soap that you can get from your supermarket as well um, it's really your personal preference um, some other things you're going to need are a bucket um, to do the treatment in um, i also use a jar and i'll explain why i why i use that um, and i also have a tea towel on hand um, and boiling water as well. Um, I'm also at my sink at the moment, um, so I have access to um, cool, warm water um, there. So the first thing that um, I do, and just to preface this, this is just the way I lanolize um, my wool covers. Um, I don't know if it's the most scientific way, but I'm, it works for me and has done for over a year now, so I'm just sharing my way with you. Um, so the first thing I do is turn my wool cover inside out um, and the reason I do that is because this is the layer that touches the nappy that gets dirty and the layer that touches bub so I want to focus um, the treatment and the cleaning on that layer. Um, if it's a brand new nappy uh, cover you won't have to clean it um, you'll just wet it with um, cool lukewarm water um, really avoid using hot water on your wool products because it can damage them um, so you'll just need to wet it um, down but if it's been used like this one has um, you'll need to clean it first now the first thing i look for is for any visible um, marks luckily we haven't had any explosions at night time um, so there's nothing there that i really need to um, and this is why i quite like the bars um, you can really kind of get into and remove any visible um, stains or um, explosions that have happened um, so instead i'm just going to do a gentle wash on this i can hand wash it if you have a brand like baby behind um, their covers are machine washable so if you don't like doing this step by hand um, a brand like baby behind is really wonderful for that um, but this one is a um, work at home mum um, brand that i have here um, so um, I'm just going to do it by hand just to make sure that I'm taking care of it. Um, so I've just put a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit of water in my bucket in front of me, just enough to wet um, my wool cover. Then I'm going to get my soap. It's not very dirty. I haven't used it for too long. So I'm just going to very gently wipe it a little bit on one side, turn it over, put a little bit of soap on the other. That's all, not much. Um, and then I'm just really gently going to kind of mush it and work it and give it a really gentle soft clean um, how often you need to clean your wall covers uh, will depend on some factors um, how you know what nappies you're using underneath are they taking a lot of the absorption or it's an um, cover having to do a lot of that work um, how many nappy covers you have in rotation i usually try to have at least two so why one's air drying after a use um, I use the other one that is also great for when you need to do a treatment um, that you've still got one on hand that you can use with bub. Um, but generally um, you don't have to do um, a clean until anywhere between two and four weeks. Obviously if you've had an explosion, if you notice anything starting to smell, um, do it earlier. But otherwise I normally go about three or four weeks um, between doing these washes which is what I love I don't have to clean them every use um, like other you know pool covers um, so I've just really gently done that now I'm just going to rinse it off um, 
under the tap here, straight into my bucket. Um, again, with just some, I use cool to lukewarm water, um, just so my nappy um, cover is clean. When you're um, wringing out your wool covers, um, be really careful not to wring them like this. I tend to gather mine and just kind of flatten them um, and just, you know, give a gentle squeeze, but I don't wring out. It's okay, it's still gonna be wet. It's gonna soak for a while in a lanolin um, mixture. So it doesn't need to be, um, you know, really dry, uh, just enough that it's not dripping everywhere and making a mess. So I've now cleaned my cover. Um, I'm going to empty up my bucket now that had my mixture while I was um, cleaning. So I'm ready to go with my treatment. You can use any bucket. I like this style purely because it's got a nice big area at the bottom. Um, so it fits a wool cover quite nicely and quite flat as opposed to a round bucket. Um, you can definitely use any bucket that you have. Um, that's just my preference for a shape, something that's a bit more um, surface down the bottom so it fits the nappy better. So my cover is now clean and now I need to do the treatment. Um, so I get my um, jar for this. You can do it straight in the bucket, but I find doing it in a jar helps me to ensure that the lanolin has really broken up with the water and has um, kind of melted evenly. Um, I don't want any lumps and bumps in it. And I used to do it straight into the bucket and sit there stirring, trying to get the mixture to work. Um, but that took a while and wasn't very effective. So now I just have an old jar that I use and then I get my lanolin. I tend to use like a little spoon amount for each treatment. Um, if it's a brand new wool cover, I use a lot more. I tend to use um, quite a heaped spoon if it's brand new because I want to make sure that I'm building up that um, waterproof protection and layer. Um, but once you've got that established, it really just needs a top up each time that you clean it. So I've mushed all my lanolin, it's very sticky, in there. And now I get my boiling water, just a little bit, and pop it in there. Um, then I have a tea towel on hand. I found that when I shake it, uh, because of the heat, it tends to expand a little bit and can spray. So I just get my tea towel to protect any bits that might come out. Could you hear that? <laughs> and I just give it a really rigorous shake. And you'll see that that board is starting to change color as the lanolin is melting and um, mixing into that water. So I also like being in the jar that I can check for any visible bits of lanolin left. This is just label that I can't get rid of, but my lanolin is now completely melted in there and I'm ready to go. So all I do now is tip that directly down into my bucket and then I add some um, other lukewarm water to it. I usually add only about a centimeter, centimeter and a half to most. Um, because the more water that's in there, the more diluted the lanolin is. So we want just enough that the wool cover can sit um, in it. So I'm going to pick up this now and turn it around for you to see. So I have now my mixture of lanolin and some just lukewarm water. I've stirred it all up. And now I grab the cover and I simply push it in. Um, for me, I tend to always have these little spots of lanolin um, that never seems to stain or um, leave any residue once the treatment's finished. So I just leave it. I push it down so everything is being absorbed, flip it over and do the same. Um, and then I will just leave it there. So you want to leave the We'll cover in there for at least um, half an hour to 60 minutes um, but I find it's best to leave it overnight the longer that it's in there the more lanolin that it can absorb from that water it's gonna wash my hands um, it is very sticky on your hands after so just be aware of that um, that's just the nature of the lanolin um, so I will leave it in there usually overnight um, and say it's you know just 
lunchtime now before I go to bed I will go and just flip the wool cover over so the other side's definitely getting um, all the absorption as well um, when in the morning when I want to take it out again I don't want to wring it because that's going to damage it so I'll just again squeeze um, but I usually grab a tea towel sorry I just tried my hands on this one so it's a bit wet but I will get an old tea towel lie the wool cover there and just roll it and once I've rolled it then I can give it a squeeze and that will just absorb a lot of the um, moisture from the wool cover um, more effectively and more gently than you squeezing and um, at all ringing it please don't do that so I just wrap up the wool cover in a tea towel give it a little squeeze the tea towel absorbs a lot of that liquid um, and then you want to lie your wool covers flat you don't want to peg them or hang them over um, your wires your clotheslines um, because the weight of the wet wool um, might distort it and might damage it so you want to lie it flat and let it to dry inside out um, sometimes if I I might also turn it back in the right way just to make sure that the inside well the outside um, is really dry as well um, so that's how I do my treatments um, I hope that helps um, I really love wool covers they are my preference we've tried pool covers before for me and my bub um, we just find the that many gussets in around the legs um, can be a bit uncomfortable and and I just like how soft um, and the short style of the wool covers um, it just tends to move some of that away from the undie line um, and give yeah just nice soft it's you know it's hygienic it cleans itself um, in between all your washes you just air dry them in between after you've used one for a night um, I just leave it out to dry um, during the day and then it's ready to go again uh, keeps bub cool in summer and warm in winter all those beautiful natural properties of wool um, if you have any questions please contact um, Rachel at the cloth stash um, and I'd be happy to help as well but you can contact me uh, through Rachel um, through social media or her website and I hope that you found that helpful thanks so much bye